Hey everybody, so this uh, video I'm going to show you some initial setup for Surface XG135 Firewall 135W So before we go in that, I did have a video showing unbox this XG Firewall You can check another video to see how it looks like And uh, today I'm going to go through the initial setup so today I'm going to do the initial setup on this firewall so after you power on the XG135 so make sure you plug into your switch at the LAN port okay and at the LAN port, LAN port so make sure you plug into your ISP modem and so you can go to internet okay like these settings or you can temporarily plug your existing uh, network that network allowed to go internet okay so this is a, a physical link so i believe first of all you need to configure your your uh, pc ip so like uh, according to the menu the pc ip should be have this ip so going to your network on your uh, control panel network and uh, you need add this IP I have using the static IP so I'm able to add the actual IP here in the advanced IP setting if you are using uh, dynamic IP you might change it to steady in order to add this IP okay you might temporarily lost your internet connectivity but uh, that's fine once you change it back you will have internet again but anyway I do have the actual IP now so I think uh, the second step is trying to connect to your uh, firewall okay so, okay I'm launching my browser and uh, I'm going to connect to the firewall now so here's the uh, recommended IP from the browser okay so ask me to connect into this 4444 so here's the address I'm going to connect okay so it's kind of to me second step is connecting so here's the address okay okay so then you can f go through your steps now Okay. Yeah, you need the uh, login. Okay. So I'm using the uh, admin admin. Okay. So you read. So this is your default login. Okay, so there's a couple options. I believe we need to synchronize the license for this device. So we'll try that. okay couldn't synchronize let me try register device first okay so when you trying to register ask you to log in
So after I logged in, it did ask me to pick up some weird uh, street sign picture. So make sure I'm not a Robert street sign. So I'm not a Robert. Continue. Okay, it's saying registered. Okay, so it's starting the synchronization process. It basically it will try to load your license. The license you should be uh, already purchased and registered under your surface login ID. So once you're registered, it will synchronizing. Okay, succeed. So click here, start the configuration. So it's the initial configuration. Start gateway. I want to make sure it's acting as a gateway. So next. So which port? Port 1. So at this moment, I want to keep this IP for now, but we can change it at any time. And uh, if you have a new setup, you can keep as it is. But if you are replacing another firewall, you need configure this IP same as your previous firewall. Okay, right now I just uh, consider it's a new one. Okay, DHCP. Okay, keep as it is. LAN to WAN traffic so this allow you to define web filtering allow all right now uh, I'm rest allow most of them allow all okay you have some categories okay for those settings uh, if you are using Allow all you, you have less restriction, but if you are working on a business firewall, probably you choose this one. Okay, so this one I would like to APB filter use allow all right now. IPS restrict the when to land. Okay, so keep going. Uh, notice. Okay. You can add notification on this one if you want the file will send alert to your email address. So now you ask for your time zone. Okay, simply pick up your own time zone. So I'm in. Los Angeles time zone. Okay automatic sync okay send a bb thread i don't want sent so it's uh, completed okay so it's starting config the file now give it a couple minutes okay it's finished the uh, configuration it takes about 10 minutes uh, ask me login again. Now I'm in the interface. I believe first of the things you need to change your admin password. So let's go to authentication users. Okay. Uh, not here. Okay, it's under administration device access. Device access. If you scroll down the password, so here you can change your password. Okay, after you change your password, uh, so another part is to active your subscription license. So it's under administration, under licensing, here you go. So you see all the other licenses not activated. 
so you can activate your license but make sure you purchase the key from your salesman okay so this is the way to you active your license believe uh, we finished uh, all the steps in order to do an initial setup so step 4 finish the wizard change the default password and test the internet so that's it okay that's all for the video please subscribe my channel i have more video coming to set up some more functions on surface firewall okay please comment and subscribe thanks for watching